Previously, you saw the use of the class function to return the class of some R objects. The class function also has a second use to override the class of an object. For example, you can take a numeric vector, in this case some random numbers from the exponential distribution, and then override the class to random underscore numbers. Let's see what the x variable looks like now. The values of x are the same, but now x shows that it has an attribute named class with the value random numbers. Calling the class function on x like you did before, that is, without assignment, returns the value. Notice that the class of x doesn't tell us that x is numeric anymore. However, if you use type of, the value is still the same. In fact, you can't override type of. This is a fundamental property of an R object. Because of this, X is said to have an implicit class of numeric. In practice, the best way to check that X is still a number would be to use the is.numeric function. This function is smart enough to know that regardless of how the class value has changed, the variable still contains numbers. Similarly, the length function returns the correct value. Here we have 10 numbers. Likewise, the mean function still calculates the mean of x correctly. In chapter 2, you're going to see how to take advantage of being able to specify the class of an object. But for now, the important takeaways are that you can override the class, and that it's possible to do this without having to reinvent existing functionality. Everything continues to work as you need.